Welcome to this presentation of HeartWorks, our new heart rate monitoring application for iPhone and iPod Touch. To be able to use HeartWorks, you will need a chest strap and a dongle, both purchased separately. The 60-bit dongle should be connected to the iPhone through the headphone port. This dongle is also called the 60-bit receiver. It receives transmissions from many chest strap heart rate monitors, including Polar. The chest strap needs to be tightly attached right under the chest muscle, and it is also recommended to moist the sensors on the strap to optimize contact with the body. Now when the chest strap is attached and the dongle is connected to the iPhone, we enter the application. This is the main screen and by pressing the start button, the application begins monitoring your heartbeats. It might take a few seconds. In the display, you see your average heart rate and also the quality of the connection to the chest strap. An animated heart will beat in the same rhythm as your own heart. For the sake of this demo, we will keep this session short, but let's try to vary the heartbeat a bit. When you press the stop button, the monitoring pauses and you can explore the other features of the application. As you see in the bottom of the screen, you have icons for monitor which is the same as the main screen, history, settings, help, and more. If we go to the history screen, you see a list of saved sessions. And with the edit button, you can easily remove sessions you don't want to save. If you click on the blue-white arrow to the right, it takes you to a summary for that particular session. This session summary shows you a range of data and statistics for the session and you can also add a note to your session if you have some thoughts that you want to remember. If you click the graph button, the session will be shown in a graph. You can move back and forth in the graph and you can zoom in and out, either with the plus minus buttons or with the two finger pinch zoom. The graph also contains internal or external events that you can click on to get more information. From here you can also choose to send your data to an email address. There are a few other screens in the application which we will only mention briefly. In the settings, you can decide whether there should be a beeping sound simulating your heartbeat while the application is monitoring your heartbeat. In the menu, you also find a help screen with lots of information on how to use the application as well as contact information. The more screen gives you some information about our other products. And that's basically it. It's a simple application to monitor heart rate activity and we think its main usefulness is when it is done over a pro prolonged time. Thanks and goodbye.